Um, it was a uh, very important part of material culture of Russia of 17th century. I think it's a part of our identity. And archaeological tiles are presented on the walls of the churches. And you can see them now. But a lot of them are lost. And about stove tiles, they are absolutely unknown. There are only two original stores saved in Russia of the 17th century. Therefore, it's clear that the creation of the museum of Russian tiles is necessary. The place was chosen not by chance. It is the New Jerusalem Monastery. The, this monastery is considered to be a place where the mass production of Russian tiles began. The Christian world of the West and the East having met here, giving birth to a mixed Moscow European art. Uh, the birth of the previously unpresented artistic form of Russian soil is our common heritage with Europe. Uh, the founder of the monastery, Patriarch Nikon, set up a tile production at the New Jerusalem Monastery. Uh, the resurrection cathedral of the monastery is richly decorated with the tiles, both inside and inside. There are simple tiles and difficult composition, and some <laughs> composition in order. Here you can see some tiles of the cathedral. Uh, we uh, conduct excavation of the monastery for the last eight years. Uh, during this time, the huge amount of material was collected. Most of this material is our tiles and some items uh, which show the tile production of uh, medieval Russia. And we also find four kilns and two pottery workshops. So uh, it was decided to make a little museum of um, tiles and the idea was to stay this artifact uh, in the place where they were, they were found. You can see a cathedral with tiles, sometimes some uh, old, some new, uh, and you can see the real tiles in the exposition. Uh, the museum was created in the building of the 17th century, and uh, the first section is the uh, architectural uh, ceramics, uh, some architecture tiles. And uh, I must say that uh, during the excavation, we found a lot of tiles which are not presented in the decoration of the cathedral. It's uh, uh, tiles, the first, it was the um, uh, first plans of Patriarch, first plans which are not. make so we can see the, uh, his ideas. And not only this, some um, tiles are lost uh, in history. And so we can see uh, uh, on the wall, you can see the parts of the broken parts of the tiles. And it is un ununderstandable. You see something like uh, but we found um, uh, tiles which are for this composition. And so we can reconstruct it. this composition in this museum. Uh, a part of this museum, it's the, the construction of uh, lost compositions. And uh, also, we found a lot of uh, stove tiles. And we reconstructed in the monastery uh, 18 different uh, stoves. They stayed in the uh, place where they were. And uh, here in the museum, uh, the, uh, in, the, in this position, you can see the tiles and see a photo of the stove. And in the text, you can see, uh, you can write there, you can find it in the monastery. Oh, you see these tiles, you see the patriarch, he, he 
taught masters from uh, uh, different countries. And you can see a Moscow masters and masters from uh, uh, Europe, uh, masters from uh, Litva. And here you can see these tiles. Also, we can uh, found four kilns. See, uh, two of them I show you. And one of the kilns uh, was founded in the, uh, this building. And so we decided to stay it in situ. And you can see it in the exposition. It's, it's, uh, yesterday we saw ruins in Barcelona. It's more smaller, but you can see the real kiln. There, these tiles are made. And near it, you can see a um, part of a pottery workshop with real uh, pots, which are found here. Uh, you see, uh, during the excavation, I found a lot of uh, technical pieces, which are also known. I want to show you it's, uh, the technical uh, vessels for the uniform the plane distribution. We, I don't know where you, where we can find other. This is the parts which um, put into the kiln to uh, for tiles not we have some parts of stamps for main uh, tiles. And this is uh, some vessels where the glaze made. Uh, then after the, uh, it was made, uh, they broken and this glaze took it. So we <laughs> don't have a uh, pot, only some parts. And this is very interesting Spices. It's uh, when you find the tiles, you can't see what is in. So make some holes, and this is part to took in this hole, and then you may take it and see how it find. And this is the show window there. It's explained. Uh, uh, also, a lot of blanks of tiles we found it, and uh, also find some uh, unique uh, ceramic icons of 17th century. You see, in Russia, it's not a tradition of uh, ceramic icon, icons, and uh, this is not finished. Uh, the offer was died, and so we can we can't see it in the cathedral or something else. But we um, found the parts of it in this. Kiln. And, and also a very interesting artifact, it's the seal of master. Uh, I know only one, this seal uh, of master, which made the tiles. It was a monk, we have uh, see the name of him, and we can uh, see this name in some uh, books, and so we can. Uh, uh, write, uh, read about his doings. And this is his own seal. In the next hall, the um, history of the tiles of the monasteries. And some tiles are very uh, interesting and unique. This is the tiles of beginning of 18th century of uh, symbolic, it's the beginning of symbolic in Russia. In this first, the turtle feast, the first uh, decided to do these tiles and they began. Also, it's uh, uh, parts of very big stall. We, can, we can't re reconstruct it, but the parts are very big. And this is uh, also very interesting stills. Uh, tiles, uh, they show us a uh, life of Russia of, at the, of the beginning of the 18th century. It's a real um, 
it's real life in Russia. And uh, also it was um, some part where the modern production <coughs> of the New Jerusalem Monastery. Here you can touch the tiles and see how it made. And it's the beginning. Uh, the next plan is near these two holes. Uh, we'll make a um, <coughs> museum for children uh, where they can excavate some parts uh, see the films or do something by hands. That's all. Thank you. <laughs>